One day, as I was on my way home from the single belt, I saw this hidden shopping mall that lay out increased my interest. So a few days later, I decided to look around for it. Better believe I couldn't recall the main location. So I made it a priority to search. After dri- driving around for 40 minutes, my people were like 40 minutes, I finally found the shopping mall. Luckily for me, the owner was around. When I asked about wanting to film the supervisor of the mall said no, please consult with my boss. To be honest with you, I was really impressed because of course she was following protocols. I thought for some odd reason I was going to meet a Lebanese guy or so. Nothing against Lebanese, by the way, people. But then when I entered, I met an energized lady. She was so kind to give me a tour. After the tour, I found out more information. This is her story. I mean, she's better fit to tell her story than I, I can. So this, of course, will be in three parts. As you watch the video, I want you to be fully inspired because if honestly she can do it, you guys who are within the diaspora and on ground in Liberia can also do the same. Peace. Another day in Liberia. Hey guys, you know we bring out the wonderful new studio. Studio! Don't mind me, I'm be over. I'm excited because our next guest here is. I don't know how to describe her, okay? She'll describe herself. What I gotta tell you, Liberians in the diaspora and all those who watch my channel from Nigeria, Sierra Leone, wherever, you have a lot of great content today, okay? This lady, she's the owner of a wonderful mall here in Liberia and she's doing amazing. So let's talk to her. Hello, dear. Hi. Thanks for having me here at your shopping mall. It's I am so glad to be here. It's a pleasure to have you. You look lovely, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> you um, thanks. So, um, I was driving by and I saw your shopping mall. Yeah. And I was like, what is that? You know, and it, it, it piqued my interest, right? Because I was like, I don't see a lot of these around here. You know, as I'm driving, I came in and you were so lovely, and you gave me a little bit of a tour of your your property and what you got going on. You got something great going on here. So congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm Chetmaimo Wolukoli. Okay. Uh, I live in Jersey. Okay. I went to school in Jersey. I have three kids, two girls and one boy, nice. and full grand chicken grandma. Ah, you heard it. Yes. Beautiful grandmama. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so I decided to come home. Okay. To be a part of mm. the rebuilding of Liberia. Wonderful. After the war in 1991, I decided that I think I can be of some to the proof and development of Liberia since everything has been broken down to pieces. Right, right, right. So I packed my bags. Wow. In moon without any car, no car, no um, washing machine, no nothing. I just came home with my clothes, wow. my suitcases. Brave, look, yes. she's brave. <laughs> Don't try this at home. <laughs> so I came home with nothing and I said, what? Well, Jemima, you don't need anything to go mm, back to Liberia. Okay. You know, it's so unusual. Like when other Liberians are coming, they say, oh my God, I'm going home. I don't have washing machine. I don't have a car. I don't have this. And people are going to laugh at me. Right. But like for me, I'm like, that's my home. Exactly. I can go there without anything. Right. And I know that I can make it in Liberia, but it's my home. Definitely. So I came home. I started a travel agency, uh -huh. which everybody knew me by Pan African International Travel Agency. Mm, okay. That's, yes, a friend who is down to seas. Um, his name is Mohammed Wariti. Okay. Yeah, he died. When I came home, I was like, "What do I do?" Because I used to work with a bank before Agricultural Development Bank. Oh, wow. Yeah, ACDB, mm -hmm. and at the time I was going to the University of Liberia to work and then go to school in the evening. And then when I came back when the bank wanted to hire me again, okay. and I said, no, I think I need to do my own business, be my own entrepreneur. Yes. And so I changed my mind, I said, no, no matter how high the salary can be, but to work for yourself is a great, is a great thing. 
So I decided to work for myself. And then, um, but I was still thinking, because we're very devastating. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nothing was right. Right. No street sounds. Right. I mean, you see people look so old. Culture is shock, right? People yes. look angry, people it look was, sad. Yes, and they still are. I yes. still need <laughs> healing. some people, some healing some to social healing. worker yes. to come and talk to some yes. of the people, you know. But then, this guy, Miami Warrington, mm -hmm. he came and he said, look, why don't you open a travel agency? Huh. You used to work for Continental Airlines. So just open one. I said, okay. So I went back and did some brush up and stuff okay. like that. Then I came back home. Okay. Well, no money. <laughs> money. <Bro. laughs> All these things, you know you're America, you can't save though. You cannot save it. So <laughs> bills, too many bills. So oh I my. came home and then he gave me the money. Okay. He gave me a thousand five hundred US dollars. And he said to me, I know you don't have the money. Aww. Just open the business, you're gonna make money. Because we have only two travel agencies in the Republic oh, of Liberia yeah. at the time, okay. 1993, 94, okay. 95. So I said, okay, fine. So I opened it. Oh, My wow. God. Mm. It's like God was standing right there. <laughs> I mean, the people, the people, the people, the Americans, the Indians, Aww. everybody. For, when they come in, I'm like, can you go down the street to, <laughs> to this other travel agency? They said, no, 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 ma'am, we're going to wait for you. Oh. They, they love my services. Yes, you're because so you know lovely. I learned that from America. Let yes. me give them the flowers. Yeah. In America, they have good customer service, Plenty and that's I, I learned service. that very well, yeah. very well. In order to make money, you got to have good customer okay. services. Tell, you got to know how. It, tell you got to know how to talk to people. You got to know what, when 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 to give a discount. You all those things you you got to know it. You got to make your client or your customer feel at home you got to make them feel great exactly. you know you got to show them love absolutely you know that the business you're not going to bring you your money because without the money there's no you, business there's no business you cannot do nothing you will not live a better life thank but your you. client pays you thank you even though you're the owner of the business but the they clients, elsewhere. yes you see so I opened a travel agency and started to make money oh my mm. god I money. made the money like one day I said God Thank you for bringing me to Liberia. Thank you for bringing me home. <laughs> I said, because I can't, look, when I count the money, I'm like, oh my God, is there money for me? You know how it is in America. You can't save. You gotta pay the light bill, you gotta pay the rent, you gotta pay car notes, you gotta pay insurance, oh my God. I was like, yes, this is it, I have a wife. <laughs> but not, I wanna say this to all the young people, even to the middle-aged people. Okay always be persistent in what you do be okay. persistent be consistent be consistent be persistent and and you got to be focused know what you want mm -hmm. because if you're going to say i'm starting from point a you got to add a time limit to everything yes. you do yes. you cannot say i'm going to do this um i want to move i'm building this house but then you build it for five years right. no you got to have a plan right that I'm going to build a, a three bedroom house, but I'm going to be finishing, I want to finish this time. And you got to be persistent, you got to keep focused so that you can finish on time. Yes. Because time is what? Money. Mm -hmm. Time Absolutely. is money. And so once you recognize that time is a very important factor, mm -hmm. that's how you're going to grow. Absolutely. You will grow, you make money, you, you explode beyond the scars. You heard and, it here, okay? Yeah. And that's and that's what I did. So we made so much money from the travel agency, and then I started getting into real estate. Aha! Uh -huh. One yes. of the best fields, I believe, to get into. Oh, I honest. love it! Mm -hmm. I love it. So tell us more about real estate, then. Real estate. I was like 30, 33 years old and being my first. Don't be counting people age now. She just saying I something. Would, 33, I don't mind them in my age. I, I call She's it all the grandma, time. Beautiful grandma I call it all the time. I'm a grandmother and a great grand. I got oh, wow. one great grand. So I was 33 years old. I built my first house. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. And then um, I had embassies renting, renting that particular house. Wow. And the location where the house is located is one of the top places in Liberia. Okay. Because every, in every country, they got the top, places. Mm -hmm. three top 10. Yes. So, 
Um, I build a house and I made a lot of money from there. Okay. Then I build the second one, then I build the third one. Wow, you just kept going. Then I just kept going because I love real estate. Real estate, anybody want to do business actually, I wear five cents. I'm not saying don't, don't, don't engage in other things, activities or other businesses, but real estate can never go wrong. Because even when you are old, when your children are old, it's, it's always there. standing there mm -hmm. to bring in the resources. You heard it. That's why I'm yes. always talking about yes. this. The real estate will bring in money. And that money, when you get it, don't go crazy. Reinvest. Multiply it. Reinvest it or multiply it. Reinvest that money into other properties. And then you you you, you, you become... You're not, you're not wealthy, a but solid small, small. Like really, it's small, <laughs> small, small. <laughs> but um, you started to enjoy, you, you start to enjoy life, mm -hmm. and the people around you. Too. And when you're in business, you have to make sure you remember the people around you. Mm -hmm. Yes, always try to give back to the society. Yeah, and that's why I've done all the years. I've given back to the society in so many ways. You're blessed. Quietly. Yeah, I'm not a flamboyant person. Make the media any yes. better find out when mm -hmm. you're done. So that it's one of these few days when I go into politics a little bit because <laughs> I had to help my uncle, Uncle Joe, who is my <laughs> uncle, I had to help him and, and, and help them to to we all gather around yeah, right. like viewers, not only me. We gather around the old man to make yeah. sure that he wins because right. we know that he has the capacity and the okay. ability to, to lead this country. Good, good. He's a man of his word, he's a man with good leadership. Good. Yes. We so it. we gather around him so then we have to be making donations. That's how come God. they heard it on Spoon TV. But normally <laughs> I would just help people and let them be something. That's you cannot make money and just take all for you and your children. Mm -hmm. All we make so make sure, I'm sorry, we make sure that you remember those around you. Mm -hmm. And I have done it over the years. That I can say, I That's can talk wonderful. about. I won't name them, but I have done a lot over the years, mm -hmm. quietly for other people to That's be able to for yes, yeah. to be able to feel um to, to enjoy the little that I've worked for over yeah. the years. So then yeah. we're here. Yeah. And this Beautiful. Yeah, I want you to center. come anytime. Next oh, no. time you come, I'm I will take you to all the properties. Wine ways to have a drink over there at that liquor store. Okay. Trust me, that's my plan. <laughs> to relax. Oh, thank you. Even though I don't drink liquor, but uh, I wear a pomegranate. Yes. I wear